Here is an example problem that will allow you to test whether or not you remember how to use your motion equations to predict things about the motion of an object with a constant acceleration. When you're dealing with your motion equations, it's oftentimes helpful to make a list of the five variables, the displacement, the initial speed, the final speed, the acceleration, and the time. So as we read through the problem, we can see that the car was initially at rest, so we can make our initial speed zero. It doesn't tell us the acceleration of the car, but it does tell us the forward forces on the car, and it tells us the resistive forces on the car. So we could use Newton's laws, net force over mass, to figure out the acceleration of the car. Once you get that answer, we would put that into our list as the acceleration. It tells us this acceleration lasts for 7.7 .7 seconds. We now have our three uh, variables that are known, so we could solve for the unknowns. So we could solve for the final speed of the car. We just do the initial speed of the car plus acceleration times time. And we could solve for the displacement of the car during this acceleration by using the formula that says displacement equals velocity initial times time plus one half at squared. Alternatively, if we know the initial and final speed, which we will after we solve for final speed, we can add them together and divide by two to get the average speed. This makes things a little simpler because once we have the average speed, we could use that in our formula that normally works for constant speed, which is velocity equals distance over time. So if you use the average speed in this formula, along with the entire time of 7.7 .7 seconds, you'll get the same displacement you would have calculated with your longer equation of motion. So if you can successfully work through this, you have a good idea of how to work with your motion equations.